I am here in Long Island City and I heard of this amazing place called the Oracle Club and it's where artists and writers and songwriters all get together to hang out and I think the owners live upstairs. I've heard the design, it's pretty sick. Let's go see if we can knock on their door and they'll let us in. Can I come in? Well, this is ridiculously fabulous. It's a 2,200 square foot space where Julian Tepper and his wife, Jenna Gibbon, live. I knocked on the right door. This is good. <laughs> of course, you don't find a place like this on Craigslist. You need connections. My friend owns the building. He said, uh, do you want to move in? He said, absolutely. Yes. Good idea. That would be a resounding yes. The dining room is the first thing you see when you walk through the door, complete with custom bar and portrait of Julian with his son. I do a lot of commission portraits. It's nice to have, you know, a permanent depiction of that special relationship committed to canvas. Committed to canvas, I like that. <laughs> and not only is it an amazing space, you can't beat the commute because Jenna's office is a few steps away, literally. Really amazing to be able to just walk downstairs and go to work. One of the most relaxing places in the house is the bedroom. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. This is our mostly bedroom slash kind of living room. Your giant New York City loft bedroom. You wake up in this beautiful space and there you are. It looks very idyllic, but actually if you realize that it's Central Park, then it's kind of disgusting. It's really so what you don't see is your third arm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you're kind of lurking behind her. Yeah, that's the name of the painting. It's men lurking behind me. Oh, I'm just trying to bathe in the pond, <laughs> exactly. and this That's comes up behind yeah, me. Yeah, she had two options, like press charges or move in with you. Their book collection is important to them, and the bookcase behind their bed is a focal point of the room. You as a writer wake up amongst all of these incredible people who came before you. Do you feel inspired? I do. I actually, um, I wake up really early, which was uh, when we had our son, I like sought peace by escaping in the early, early hours, like 4 a.m. <laughs> we used to have our bedroom in this space here where our son sleeps now, but then as he got older, we needed to be able to put him in his own room so we could close the door and he could have a place for all of his things. I'm gonna introduce you to the patron saints of the Oracle Club. So, okay. shall we? We shall. All right, I like this. come on. What's amazing is that this building is not just their home. On the first floor is an artist space they've dubbed the Oracle Club. Jenna made two very nice paintings of our patron saints of the Oracle Club, Jean Cocteau and Saul Bellow. This space is meant to feel sort of like you've been welcomed into the home of an artist, a place where people can sort of lounge around and come in the evenings and share some wine or have a coffee in the day, or wine in the day, why not? <laughs> the couch is very special. This came from Texas from the 1870s. Growing up, my mother had one rule, which was don't go near my horn furniture. And then when we started the space, she said, you'll need to take the horn furniture. So she broke with her horn furniture, and we, since now people really enjoy it, they sit there, they use it. And so now anyone who wants to can sit on the horn furniture. Exactly. It is a little threatening, but we like it that way. <laughs> It, it does hurt. All in all, Jenna and Julian have a really great space that they've opened up to the New York artist community. I think it's perfect just the way it is. Thank you guys so much. Thank, Thank you. you. For letting me in and showing me around. It's gorgeous. On that note, I'm probably never leaving. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're a creative in New York City, hopefully you find a home and workspace as ideal as this one.